Mm. Ah, let's see. Mm. Uh, Man City QPR. Michael, did you go along to this? No, I didn't. But You I didn't am, turn up and neither did your team. I am very team. much regretting having already bought tickets for the last game of the season away at Leicester. Oh. And, of course, we have the most unappetising game in the history of football to come next Saturday. QPR Ooh. at home to Newcastle. Yes. Dear God. Um, yeah, yesterday, well, we were always going to lose. Didn't really matter what formation Chris Ramsey put out. Mm. I don't really know what to say that I haven't said several times before on this pod. But Tell this- us about these bad eggs, then. Well, QPR's recruitment strategy over the last four years has been based on paying wages that are above the norm. Now, the problem is, if you're a big club, then, yeah, you'll get some horrible mercenaries in there, but you're getting good players because they go to win things. QPR are never going to be in a, uh, in a position to win things. So when you pay big wages, what you're getting is people who are only interested in the wage packet. You know, mm. They see QPR as just this kind of milk teat, and not, not a club where they can actually go and achieve anything. Um, I don't know who the bad eggs are, but um, you could cast a look down the team and think an awful lot of players there you would never want to see again. If I were a billionaire, I would buy up all those players' registrations just to stop them playing ever again. Um, I think it's a bit rich of Joey Barton to be calling anyone bad eggs, given uh, some of the things he's done while, while at QPR. Notably, of course, in the wake of his 12-match suspension and going on loan to Marseille, saying he would never be going back to QPR, would never play championship football. Um, there's the very model of a divisive player, I think. Um, but you know, the, the single thing for me that symbolises QPR season was an incident in the home game against Stoke in the autumn where Rio Ferdinand and one of his infrequent appearances was out-sprinted by Peter Crouch. And you know, that says everything to me about the shambles of this club. Too many players have come in with decent reputations but have been proved to be rubbish. And I don't think this is the fault of the coaches. You know, players like Jordan Much, Matt Phillips, although he, he did improve finally uh, the first in the last two or three months, Junior Hoylet. These players don't just become bad. There is something wrong in the culture of the club. And Tony Fernandez has been saying the same things for four years. Lessons will be learned. We will move on and build from this. Oh, pull the other one, mate. Come on. Take some responsibility. He's been saying, yeah, the buck stops with me. Then let it stop with you. Don't just say, yeah, we'll learn from this. Tell us exactly why the club is the shambles that it is. Because it is a disgrace. And I fully understand why so many fans of other teams hate QPR. You know, I do too, and I support them. <laughs> <laughs> That's beautiful.